Butterflies are a rather rarely talked about option strategy that can be great for investors who are eager to profit while maintaining a fixed risk profile. Technically called butterfly spreads, this strategy typically involves a combination of four calls or four puts. Today we break down in depth how this market neutral play can be used to profit when a stock doesn't move. The setup for this sort of play may sound complex, but once we break it down, it will all make sense. We begin with four different option contracts, but three different strike prices. The first, a higher strike price, the second, an at the money strike price, and a third, lower strike price. The option with the higher and lower strike prices should be the same distance from the at the money options. As a simple way to help you visualize, let's say we believe stock USO trading at $11 is going to remain at that price for two weeks. To set up a long call butterfly, we would write, aka sell, two option contracts expiring in 14 days with a strike price of $11. This will represent our at the money portion. We would then buy a call for $10 expiring the same date. This will represent our lower portion. And finally, we would buy an $11 call also expiring the same date representing our upper portion. If we go through the butterfly checklist, let's see how we did. We sold two at the money calls, check. We bought one call, $1 under the strike price, check. We also bought one call, $1 above the strike price, check. The higher and lower strike prices are the same distance from the at the money option strike, check. And finally, all options are expiring on the same date, check. So what did this do for us? Let's take a look at our options calculator to get a visualization of our profits. As you can see, we profit the most if USO doesn't move at all and finishes exactly around $11 come two weeks. Unlike simple long calls and long puts, our profits are defined, meaning that they are limited by math. In our case, our maximum profit for this play is $44, representing a 78% return on our investment. Now the good thing about this strategy is that there's some give meaning that we would still profit if the price hangs somewhere around $11 come two weeks. The point at which we begin to lose money is called a break-even, and in this particular play, that represents $11.44 at the top and $10.56 at the bottom, meaning if we fall out of that range, we begin to take on losses. Our maximum loss occurs if we finish above $12 or below $9. The entire range of profitability, which is represented by the green squares, expands towards the date of expiration. In the beginning of this play, even small fluctuations in price will have a significant impact on our profits. If you look at the first few days, there really isn't a lot of ways our play can make any money, because it's so dependent on time decay. Right before expiration is when we have the largest profitable range available to us and the biggest chance to make money. You can clearly see the green squares expand towards the end as we approach expiration. If you break down this strategy, the meat of it is in the two at the money calls we're selling. The two other calls, the upper and lower parts, are basically just there to reduce risk and minimize loss. If we simply were to sell two at the money calls, we would be exposing ourselves to unlimited losses and limited profits. The butterfly ensures we reduce our risk while maintaining some potential profitability. There are many more caveats and details regarding this strategy that should be researched prior to using it with your own money. Implied volatility changes can definitely change the profit outcome for each specific scenario, and I would recommend mapping out your strategy using Option Calculator to better understand the pros and cons. Anytime you sell options, you also expose yourself to the risk of assignment, and although rare, it's a possibility you need to factor in when executing these types of strategies. The basic breakdown is simple. Executing a butterfly strategy like the one we use in our example is basically a bet that profits heavily if the price of the underlying asset finishes where it started. In our example, that would be $11. If the price of the underlying happens to move either up or down relative to the starting price by the end of your bet, you will lose money. If you can find stocks or ETF that you believe are stagnating, this can be a great way to consistently profit. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in engaging in a different type of bet, one with significantly more risk, please consider signing up for Bovada, one of the most trusted sportsbooks on the internet. Please use the affiliate code in the description to sign up and bet on this week's NFL games, Euro qualifiers, NBA preseason, MLB playoffs, and much more.